All right. Hello, hello, this is Brahma Zimco Survival, and I'm back again today with the third insect repellent I use, and that is the Repel Max 440. Um, <clears throat> they do have Max D, which is 100, uh, under the brand name Repel 100, um, but I find that is kind of overkill. It doesn't really do much more than the 40 does, so why use an extra 60% DEET when you really don't need to? So this is what I carry with me when I know for a fact I'm going to be in a really bad bug spot. So if I'm going to be camping in a bog or a swamp or if I'm going to be camping out next to a lake where, you know, off an inlet or something where I know the bugs are going to be really bad in that spot, this is what I'll bring as my insect repellent. Um, I know a lot of people are saying go ultra light, don't take insect repellent, etc, etc. But I go out camping because I want to enjoy it. And if I can't enjoy it because I'm being eaten alive by bugs, then what's the point in going in the first place? So I carry a bug repellent like um, the previous two videos. I know I'm kind of slamming you guys with bug repellent videos right now, but um, I really wanted to do these videos for you guys. Um, I pick and choose. I use three different insect repellents, and I will pick and choose which one I'm going to take with me based on where I'm going. So this is not something I carry very often. This is something I will only bring with me when I need it. Um, now, as we all know, this is DEET. Um, DEET is not a chemical that you really want to be exposed to very often. So it is something that I try to limit my usage of, which is why I carry the other ones, um, to try and carry, to expose myself to chemicals as l little as humanly possible and still be able to repel the bugs. Um, so like I said, this is, this is what I'll bring with me in the really bad times. Now the benefits are this will last for about 12 hours although it doesn't say it. Uh, in my experience, it lasts about 12 hours um, before I start getting eaten alive again. Um, it is a lotion, but they, of course, they also carry DEET in sprays, so you can get whichever ones you want, lotion or spray. I personally prefer the lotion. It's easier to apply, and it lasts longer than the spray in my experience. But again, it is DEET, so avoid using it on kids. Um, don't over apply it. You are putting a, po a literal pesticide on your skin, so make sure you're careful with it when you're using DEET. Um, the other thing is um, that DEET is kind of like, I guess you could say shooting a fly with a shotgun, I, you know, southern term for it. It's overkill for most bugs. Um, DEET is one of those insect repellents where you know, you're kind of going as far as you possibly can to one side of the aisle and, you know, even if the bugs aren't bad, you really shouldn't be using DEET. Um, DEET is a final resort when you know you really need it. So in my opinion, I do use DEET, but I prefer the other brands more, the, the other insect repellents more. Um, I really just don't like using it unless I have to. But with that said, the product itself, the Repel Max 40, um, is a good product. The uh, it is a you know it does work. Like I said, for me it lasts for around 12 hours. Um, I do like that you can just clip it on to your backpack. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, easy to apply. Doesn't really stink. And um, overall, just a good product for those times when you really need it. But there you are. Thank you guys for watching. I will have affiliate links to this and the spray version in the description. So if you guys want to look at that, be my guest. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.